carried away of these dumb idols, even as you were led. But now, so he's gonna, he, he says, wherefore, in, in verse 3, so he, he, he then goes there, but we're not going there today. We want, I want, want us to focus on this thing about dumb idols. Because we're going to deal with this issue of idolatry and ignorance. Mm. Idolatry is the express action of ignorant people. Idolatry is the express action of people who lack knowledge and understanding. Because they have to provide something they think they can understand because of their inability to understand what's real. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? I make idols about a God I'm ignorant of because I have to be able to think. I think I have to think I understand that God. So I carve out a stone and I make it look like something that I think exists that I really don't know. I, I, I'm ignorant of that thing. So to make that thing more known to myself, I have to make it for myself. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Just to throw a phrase in uh, Oswald Chambers calls it unconscious unreality. Awesome. Unconscious unreality. unreality. Unconscious unreality. We're making things that aren't meant to be real. Real. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? So, so what? So it sounds real philosophical, but I wanted to break this down. Ultimately, we're led by things that don't matter, and the rebellion that's in our hearts tries to make things that aren't supposed to matter matter. Y'all, you see that? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just a transition, right? Is that we attempt to form things that are not God. We attempt to make things that's not God because we want to make gods for ourselves. Mm -hmm. it's, that's, what all, that's all idolatry is. And it's by nature stupid. It's, a, it's dumb. And it's dumb because it can never really exist. It can never really be true because we know hypocrisy. We're lying to ourselves. Oh, well, we don't really know that, but we, we see that this is a process of lying. And so what Satan does is to make himself more palatable, to make himself more delicious, to make himself uh, more pleasing, desirous, he has to add power to the things that we create. He has to give himself those things. Uh, Courtney and I, uh, give himself in those things, put those, himself in those things. And so ultimately, the stuff that we worship, the stuff that ends up controlling our lives, seem to have power. So, if, if, so for example, if everybody goes outside today and all of our tires are flat, how many of us are going to panic? If everybody in this room, we all go outside and, and, and we see that our tires are flat, are we going to panic? Are we going to say, oh, no, because the thing that we intend to do, we think we can't do anymore, right? We, we need to go home. I have to go home. I have to go do stuff. I got something else to do today, right? Does that control me mm. is the question. Mm. Or so, if your car is gone, right. will you go outside? How, you, how will you react? Will you say, okay, well, praise the Lord. God is good. My car is gone. Oh, I, yes, sir. I'm not going to say praise the Lord, my car is gone. I'm not going to panic. I mean, I'm not a panicking person. I'm not going to panic. I'm just going to say, okay, well, I just got to find another way. Sure. Well, you, you, yeah, that's, that's good. But for the most of us, we will do this. You did this to me. Oh, no. Hey, why'd you let it happen, Lord? Why, why did this happen? Yes. To me. And that's what we're saying. It's your fault. I mean, we all struggle with anger with God about the stuff that's inanimate. Mm -hmm. The stuff that we've had to experience that doesn't have life, that God never really intended to have life because he wanted us to find life in him.
but we find life in those things, and so those things then control us. They're dumb idols. Mm. We worship those things, and so we can't live without them. Mm. And so Paul says that you are carried away with this stuff, and that's why they led you. They were your, they were your guide. They taught you. They spoke to you. Mm. Oh, the idols led you. Idols led you. Oh. Inanimate objects speak. Mm -hmm. Things that don't have life speak. Images speak. Oh, yeah. That's why we have to be really careful about what we listen to. We have to be really careful about these things. Because the only way these things have power, the only way these things can actually carry us away, is because there's a, there's a spirit involved. There's, there's, there's some kind of, yes ma'am? How can your diamond ring speak or your car oh, oh, oh. or something that you, I don't understand <laughs> oh, that you collaborate on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. And diamond rings speak loud. They speak real loud. <laughs> okay, we know these things speak at the point where somebody is willing to come and put a gun in your face and take that thing off of your finger mm. because that thing spoke to them. It's not little, okay, spiritually it's speaking because it says, you need me. Mm -hmm. I'm powerful. I'm powerful. I can get you, 